If you're a GTA fan like me, you would most likely know by now that Rockstar has taken a hell of a lot of inspiration from the city of Los Angeles whilst making their fictional city of Los Santos. A lot of different YouTubers have already made videos showing the similarities between many of these buildings, but I haven't seen many people really explain what these buildings are, or what purpose they serve in the first place. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the most popular and recognisable buildings throughout GTA 5, and finding out some of the backstory behind their real life counterparts. First of all, let's start off with the most iconic building in the game, and everyone's favourite sniping spot, the Maze Bank Tower. The real life version is called the US Bank Tower, or more locally known as the Library Tower. It stands at 1,018 feet tall, making it the third tallest building in California. The construction of this building began in 1987 with it being completed in 1989, with a cost of around $350 million. This building has a total of 73 floors which consist mostly of private offices. As said on the Silverstein Properties website, the US Bank Tower is the defining anchor of the downtown Los Angeles skyline. Right next to the Maze Bank Tower we have an almost equally recognisable and iconic building, known as the Mile High Club. This building is based on the Ritz Carlton building in downtown Los Angeles. This building is a part of the LA Live entertainment complex. Its main purpose is to be a hotel for people visiting LA Live. Despite this building starting construction in 2007 and finishing in early 2010, the in-game counterpart still remains under construction, nearly 12 years after the building was initially completed. It's also worth mentioning that a team of modders created a mod where the building is fully completed, and I gotta say, they did a cracking job. It looks almost identical to the actual building in LA. This next one isn't as large as the other two, but it still manages to be just as eye-catching. This is Legion Square, a small park that is located right in the middle of Los Santos. Much like its real life counterpart called Pershing Square, this park is covered in some really weird looking pieces of modern art, which gives it a really unique look. The square has an area of 5 acres and it was officially deemed a park in 1866, nearly 155 years ago. The park also had some heavy use during World War II for rallies and recruitment, but nowadays the square is regularly used to host seasonal events such as a temporary ice rink in the winter and live concert performances in the summer. Next up we have the Maze Bank Arena, which is a massive indoor stadium just north of the airport. Now, this building seems to be based off of the Forum in Inglewood, LA. However, the overall shape and look of both of these buildings look nothing alike. The stadium can hold over 17,500 people and has hosted an impressive variety of events over the years. The stadium opened in 1967 and at that time it was quite an unusual and groundbreaking structure. It was engineered in such a way that it had no major support pillars, which at the time and with an arena of this size was unheard of. Next up is probably the strangest looking building on this list. This structure is called the Sightings Bar, which is quite clearly supposed to be based off of the Fiend building in LA. This iconic space age structure started construction in 1957 and finished in 1961. This structure resembles a flying saucer in its shape and it was also built to house a restaurant inside of it. However, from what I found online, in late 2013 the restaurant was shut down and for whatever reason the whole building has been abandoned for years. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any solid reason as to why this is. Next up we have the only museum found in Los Santos, the Court Center. This place is quite clearly supposed to represent the Getty Center, which is an enormous museum in LA. This museum holds a lot of historic artifacts like ancient structures and statues, an Egyptian mummy, and even some works of art from Vincent van Gogh, plus some beautiful gardens and stunning fountains. This museum was established in 1997 and it attracts around 1.8 million visitors every year. Next up, we have the very recognisable Del Perro Pier, which is quite clearly based off the Santa Monica Pier. Just like the in-game version, the pier contains multiple attractions, such as rides, arcades, and aquariums. I've got to say, Rockstar did a really good job in recreating this pier in-game. They're almost identical in every way. The pier was created in 1909 and was originally made up of two separate piers that were owned by different people. Its original purpose was to carry sewer pipes from beyond the breakers, which is quite a stark contrast from what it is today. Next up is the Rockford Plaza, which is without a doubt the biggest shopping mall in the game. The building is based off of the Beverly Center, which is a huge 8 story shopping center located on the edge of Beverly Hills. It was originally opened in 1982 and it has over 100 stores, many of which as you would probably guess are all designer labels, such as Gucci, Prada, Louis Vuitton and many many more. 
Next up, we have the Eclipse Towers, which houses the most expensive apartments and penthouses in the game. This building is based off of the Sierra Towers in West Hollywood. It's a 31-storey residential skyscraper with some stunning views of Los Angeles. The building was developed for $12 million and it stands at 395 feet tall, which makes it the tallest building in West Hollywood. Due to its location and luxurious interior, many famous celebrities own apartments in this building, like Emma Watson, Kelly Osborne, and Elton John, to name a few. Last but not least, we have Silent Probe Mountain, which is a visionary environment in the middle of Sandy Shores. This place was most likely inspired by Salvation Mountain in the California desert. This piece of art was created by Leonard Knight as a tribute to God. There are many Christian sayings and Bible verses written all over this mountain, the most prominent being this massive God is Love mural. This project began in 1984 and to this day people continue to add their own art to it, making the location an unofficial centerpiece for the community and cementing the area's anarchic creative identity. And that pretty much covers all of the most well-known buildings in the game. I know this video is a little bit different from what I usually do, but I hope you enjoyed it all the same. And with that being said, I'll see you later.